My name is Maria Rodolis. I'm from New York and I go to school at SUNY New Paltz. I heard about the RU program through my school's LSAM program and when I first applied I was so nervous because I know this is a really competitive program and I, when I actually got it I was so excited. Coming to this program completely just made me reassure myself that doing research is definitely my passion that I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. When I, I actually came as a chemistry student and coming here doing biology, I was completely nervous. And I came here and I fell in love with biology. Now I'm torn. I'm like, how am I going to choose again between chemistry and biology? Luckily, I did research and I'm going, I'm planning to go to grad school and studying chemical biology. That way I can still get involved with chemistry. I can synthesize as many compounds as I like. And then I can come to the tropics and apply to biology. So both of my both of my needs are met. Being born Dominican Republic, I grew up speaking Spanish. I, I, I was born in the tropics and then I moved to New York and I felt like I completely lost touch of my culture and I lost touch of the Spanish community. And coming here was just a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I am so happy I can, I can reconnect with my culture. I can talk Spanish again. And our, the Costa Rican di dialect and the Dominican dialect are kind of similar. So sometimes people think I'm a Dica, but I'm not. Oh, there were many surprises when I got first got here. To begin with, I thought that to see all the animals, you had to go in the forest and you had to search. But they are everywhere. On the walk just to my cabin, I would see a boa constrictor. I saw king snakes, birds everywhere. It's beautiful. Now, one story that I actually have for you is when I came to my cabin one day and I'm going, I'm going in to get ready to go to the field and I turn, I close the door and right behind the door is this huge gecko. Now the gecko refused to leave and I didn't know what to do with it. I like, I made some noise, I tried to scare him away, nothing, he stayed. I actually went, I actually, at one point I actually touched him and he flew and jumped at me and I was so scared. I screamed like a girl, but it was a funny, it was such a funny story, I love it. And he actually stayed, he stayed in my room, he refused to leave, I named him Fred. He was a good old friend of mine. Um, that day I actually had to present a PowerPoint presentation, so I practiced in front of Fred, he helped me out, supported me all the way through it. My project is very exciting, I'm studying the fern Tectaria lizards buri, and I'm actually studying um, a method of reproduction called vegetative budding, which is highly understudied. I'm one of the few people that has studied this method. And what I'm trying to determine is whether which variables and what con environmental conditions, such as light, distance from water, humidity, what factors affect this method of reproduction. Oh yeah, I love ferns. Now, ferns are definitely they're underappreciated and, and they mean so much to this world. I love ferns. I love them.